Welcome to this SFTB Gateway tutorial by Thorn Technologies. My name is Bryce, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Amazon Cognito with SFTB Gateway. First, you're going to navigate to the Cognito service. And then, we're going to create a new user pool. I'm mainly going to be using the default options, but you should select the options which suit your environment requirements and preferences. For simplicity, I'm going to select no MFA. I'm also not going to be selecting any required attributes. Step five, integrate your app is where you're going to be making the majority of your configurations. First, enter a user pool name. And then, under the Hosted Authentication Pages section, check the box for Use the Cognito Hosted UI. Select a domain, and then under the Initial App Client section, for the app type, select Confidential Client. We're doing this because we want to generate a client secret. Configure a name for your app client, And then we're going to configure the callback URL. The syntax is going to be HTTPS colon slash slash the public IP address of your VM slash backend slash login slash OAuth2 slash code and then a custom name. The value can be anything you'd like, but remember it because we're going to be using it when creating the identity provider in SFTP Gateway. I'm going to be using Bryce because that's my name. Then click Next. Check through all your steps and configurations, and if everything looks up to shape, you may click Create User Pool. Once your user pool is created, you may click into it, and then we're going to create a user. Select a username. You can select an email address if you choose, it's optional for me. And then we're going to configure a temporary password. Once you've configured everything, you may click Create User. Once you have created your user, you can now configure the identity provider in SFTP Gateway. Click to the SFTP Gateway web admin interface. And under the settings page, scroll down until you see identity providers. From here, click Add New Identity Provider. First, we're going to configure an identity provider display name. We're going to be using Amazon Cognito. One thing to note is that the display name is going to be prepended with Sign In With. So, in the web admin login page, it would say Sign In With Amazon Cognito, in my case. Next, we're going to retrieve the issuer URI. The syntax is going to be https colon slash slash cognito dash IDP, and then the region you're in for AWS, mine is going to be US East 1, and then dot Amazon AWS dot com slash user pool ID. You can find the user pool ID in the overview page for your user pool. Copy, and then paste. Next, we're going to retrieve the client ID. Go back to your user pool in Cognito, and then under the tabs, select App Integration. Scroll down until you see App Client List, and then select the App Client you created earlier. From here, we can copy the client ID, and we can also copy the client secret. For the name attribute, we're going to be using Cognito colon username. This will show your Cognito's user username in place of the web admin name. And then for the registration ID, this is the custom name you created for the callback URL. In my case, it was Bryce. Once you've configured everything for your identity provider, you may click Save. You can scroll down to confirm that your identity provider has successfully created, and then you can click Logout. Here, you'll see the 
sign in with Amazon Cognito. You may click on this link. And then we're here to our sign in. Enter your username and then the temporary password you configured. And then here we're asked to provide a new password. And then we've now successfully logged in using our Amazon Cognito user. That's all for this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to stay up to date on all our SFTP Gateway videos and tutorials. And as always, have a splendid day.